Hello and welcome. I've been wanting to do this video for a while now. And that is taking the Lord's name in vain. See, it actually has nothing to do with the curse word or saying curse words towards the Lord. In fact, the Lord said that you can say anything against the Son of Man, but you can't blast me the Holy Spirit. Taking the Lord's name in vain means being conceited, narcissistic, self-loving, in love with oneself, self-admiring, self-absorbed, wrapped up in oneself. That's what it's about. It's not. It, it's taking the Lord willy-nilly, not taking Him serious. That's what it means. So, to not be serious about the Lord that created everything, the heavens, the earth, even us, that's what he's talking about, just taking his name not serious, just casting it aside, and looking to ourselves as being our own little G-gods, self-admiring, self-absorbed, narcissistic and boastful, high and mighty, conceited, that's what it means. So, and it's not good to say his name in vain either, but it, that's what he's talking about not taking him serious dead dog serious so you know one of the first things the Lord says is fear of the Lord is beginning of all wisdom and understanding and this wisdom and understanding is spiritual understanding wisdom comes from him not this world this world's wisdom and knowledge and understanding isn't going to do us any good in fact most of it's just evil and wickedness turn inwards towards ourselves making us our own little g-gods that's what the Lord he's looking for humility he's looking for humble hearts he's looking for those that aren't proud and boastful those that aren't narcissistic and self-loving in themselves they don't think they're number one they think it's all you know they don't think it's all about them that's what taking the Lord's name in vain means not being serious not having a relationship with your creator and just casting him off and you see that right now going in the world all over in the world right now everybody's so self-absorbed in their own their own little world basically and so I just wanted to share that with you because so many people think it's just saying the Lord's name in vain when that's not what it's talking about it's talking about, he's talking about not taking him serious, no fear of the Lord and our vanity because that's where the word comes from is vanity so I just wanted to share that with you, hope that encourages you to not look inward towards ourselves but to look outwards towards God and to look to him for everything because I'll tell you what, what's getting ready to come up on this planet what's getting ready to happen with Mystery Babylon, which is the United States, you're going to want God. I'm telling you right now because it's there will be fear of the Lord when he's done. I will promise you that. He's, bringing, he's getting ready to bring some fear to people that they have no idea how bad this fear can get. And the only way, the only way to escape, the only way to not have fear is to have him. And to have a relationship with him. To have a relationship with him one on one. See, the church is actually his bride. It has nothing to do with a building, it has nothing to do with an institution. Jesus Christ never came upon this earth to die for any religions. He came for selfless love and to demonstrate that selfless love. So, you can have a relationship with him in your heart and in your soul and a relationship that will be enduring and last forever. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs>